Hi, my name is Ed Davis and I'm a park guide here at Andersonville National Historic Site. We are standing here in Andersonville Cemetery. Behind me is the Georgia Monument, which shows three Andersonville prisoners. One walking with a cane, another with a broken arm, and beneath them is a quote from Zechariah 9.12. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. In the summer of 1868, Andersonville turned from a place for African Americans to live and work to a place of pilgrimage. This included Emancipation Day celebrations. And historian Adam Dolby also points out that African Americans saw their connections to the site through their struggle for freedom and the suffering of Andersonville prisoners. The first Emancipation Day celebration occurred on January 1st, 1869, six years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Emancipation Day celebrations at Andersonville help African Americans connect their freedom with national loyalty. Emancipation Day celebrations included services at the Freedmen School, in which African Americans recited prayers, recited the Emancipation Proclamation before marching through the south gate of the cemetery as they sang My Country Tis of Thee and placed wreaths on graves. They then exited the cemetery at the western gate and returned to the railroad depot where Floyd Nelson, cemetery foreman and former Freedman School student, led them in three cheers for the American flag. These Emancipation Day celebrations helped to lay the groundwork for Decoration Day and later Memorial Day celebrations.